Hello again, everybody. I'm Eric Lufer here at Second Home Kitchen and Bar. I've been having a lot of fun with Chef Jeff Bolton here. We're talking a Colorado lamb ragu to finish mm -hmm. things off. Looks pretty good already. Absolutely. It's one of my favorite dishes. This week, Seven in the Kitchen is at Second Home Kitchen and Bar, located at 150 Clayton Lane in Sherry Creek North. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you can even have late night cocktails around a 15 foot fire pit. All right, Chef. What, is, what does this all entail? All right, so one of my favorite proteins that Colorado is so well known for is Colorado lamb. So we're gonna make one of my favorite dishes. Um, first, we're gonna start off with, these are heirloom beans from Colorado as well. So th this is the dry form, and this is what they look like when they're cooked. Okay. So then we have that, we have a house-made lamb sausage, um, it's just some roasted tomatoes, and we're gonna top it all with a rotisserie leg of lamb. So awesome. let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add that house-made uh, lamb sausage, I'm sorry. And if people can't get a hold of the lamb sausage? If you can't get a hold of lamb sausage, you could use, you know, Italian sausage, but you can find ground lamb at uh, specialty stores like Marzix or Whole Foods. Okay. So you can make your own Italian so or uh, lamb sausage. So you're gonna brown that up for just a minute. Okay. Add in some garlic, some shallots again. All morning you've been adding garlic, so that's probably a pretty, with every dish this morning, is that I, pretty important? I love garlic. It's probably one of my favorite aromatics. It's okay. I have to have it with almost everything. <laughs> uh, these are just some uh, oven roasted tomatoes. We just toss them in, or cut them in half. Okay. Toss them with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, some salt and pepper, and you just roast them for about 10 minutes. That's all it takes. Perfect. So we're going to cook that down. We're going to add in those beautiful beans that we saw earlier. Right. So you can see these are just, just some amazing beans. We're gonna deglaze it with a red wine that we get outside of Palisade, Colorado. So you're gonna let wow, that cook down that. for just a minute. So this is all Colorado, all this in this pan. This, this entire dish is all Colorado. The lamb is from uh, Pale Swallow Fork Ranch in Meeker, Colorado. Wow. Um, and you can get some amazing lamb. I believe that actual lamb that we use is available at Whole Foods. Okay. Let that cook down. And this is the stock that we actually make out of, out of the lamb bones. And if anybody really wants to make that, they can Shoot me an email and I will send him an I will send him an email yeah, back about go. how to make it. What's your email? <laughs> uh, it's Jeff Bolton at secondhomedenver.com. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna finish that off with just a little butter. We're gonna melt that in. And keep in mind, all of this, folks, like we do every day, every Sunday, all of this is on our website. All the ingredients, thedenverchannel.com. Yep. And it's a lot easier to make than it actually looks, guys. <laughs> so don't be afraid about cooking this at home. Now you're open on Christmas this year. We are open on Christmas. We are gonna be doing a brunch from seven to three. And they're going to be open for dinner from 4 till 10. So okay. if you're in the Cherry Creek area and you want to stop by, come Perfect. for Christmas dinner. And then we just plate this once it's ready to go? Yeah, we're almost ready. So we'll go ahead and let's uh, spray the plate. So this is the uh, Colorado lamb ragu with that five heirloom bean. Wow. Looks great. So we're just going to plate that up. Put a little rotisserie leg of lamb on there. That's the same lamb that we made the sausage out of. Okay. Put in my little mess there. And there Look you have that. it, Colorado leg of lamb with a lamb ragu. Awesome, and of course this recipe is on our website, thedenverchannel.com. Chef, thank you so much for Absolutely. being with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, second home right here in Cherry Creek North. Make sure and come by and check it out.